Welcome to Top Advisor Marketing, where you will learn how to become a prolific online influencer, attract more ideal clients, and grow your practice. Brought to you by Top Advisor Podcasting, a done-for-you podcasting solution built just for trusted advisors. And now, your co-hosts of Top Advisor Marketing, Kirk Lowe and Matt Halloran. Hello and welcome to another Top Advisor Marketing Podcast. This is Matt Halloran. Kirk introduced me to somebody that he was wildly impressed with. It was so funny when we got off the phone. He's like, Matt, I just met the guy who makes everybody's life easier. And I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? And he said, his name is Dean and you have to interview him on the podcast. Now, Dean doesn't know this, but you usually have to wait like four or five months sometimes to get on this podcast. And Kirk was talking to my assistant. He's like, nope, Dean's going to be on next week. So our guest is Dean Soto. He's the president of Pro Sulum, and he's going to tell you all about who he is and what he does because I just kind of prefaced the fact that his whole existence is to make your job as a business owner and your life as a business owner even easier. We're going to dive into that more deeply, but first, Dean, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Matt. I, I appreciate the in- introduction, and hopefully I live up to the hype. Well, you know, if you don't, it's not your fault, it's Kirk's fault. So, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get into where the name came from and and, and all of that, why don't you tell everybody what you do? Yeah. So basically who I help are companies that are on the cusp. They're like right at the cusp of being able to expand. But they're what the the big pain that they're feeling is they know that they have to have documented systems. They know that they have to have their process is documented, but no one loves, no one likes to do that at all. They hate it. Absolutely hate it. It takes hours to do, Uh, but it's really the only way to scale your team without having to be dragged into the day to day all the time. And so what we do is we have people, virtual assistants that specialize in basically taking what you have via video. So you're only spending five minutes 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes per process on your end. They document it all step by step. They give you an SOP of that step by step process back so that you are no longer having to do that task. They can either do it for you as a virtual assistant, or you can just hand that document to one of your staff members and never have to do it again. So in five minutes, you've literally freed yourself from that process. I'm going to play devil's advocate really early. It's two minutes into the podcast, but financial services, estate planning, attorneys, and CPAs, they have really complex systems. How in God's name can you do that? <laughs> That's a good question. So uh, I have a couple of, uh, of, of financial service businesses, and it really depends on what the process is. But like a lot of the times, for example, you get a new client in and there's there's some kind of discovery process, right? So you're you're getting their their financial data a lot of the times the customers might take a few days weeks months giving you that financial data that they need well you can actually show the process via video of how you want that whole discovery process to happen and do things in that video saying if go go and set a reminder for yourself in two days if they don't respond in two if 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 they don't respond in two days, then go and ping them with this email template. If they don't respond after two days after that, ping them with this and then give them a call. And you can, you can say that on the video. So you're spending, you know, a few minutes on the video showing them exactly how you want that process to go. And then they document it and now they can do that. So that entire uh, discovery process can be offloaded to somebody within, you know, a few minutes. Hmm. You know, as a person who was a financial service coaching consultant for so long, the, the biggest problem I always had was the implementation of those systems, right? The SOPs, the mm-hmm. standard operating procedures. But you've solved that, too. So your virtual assistants not only help write the system, but they can actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And because that was that was my that was my big issue, too. And the reason why I created it. I mean, it's always best when you create something that scratches your own itch, right? Mm-hmm. So what I got sick and tired of was a couple of things. One, I got sick and tired of the back and forth of training somebody. I'd give them videos, long videos showing how I want something done. 
but it would just be a video. It wouldn't be a process. And they come back with a question and I'd have to answer it and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then on top of that, you, I would, I, I, I knew that things needed all the big companies out there. You needed to have things documented. It's just so much easier. And I would spend hours and hours, hours on my own documenting for my virtual assistants or, for, or, or anybody that's on my staff. And it'd be worth it spending that eight hours doing it because I never had to do it again, even though it sucked. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it, this, and that's, uh, that's putting it mildly, but I never had to do it again. So that eight hours technically was worth it. The, and, and so I was like, there has to be a better way. And so I was like, hey, might as well do a video and tell them what I, exactly what I want to do as if I were teaching grandma. This is what you do, grandma, step by step. I want this done, this, 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 click this button, go press this here, do this. And then have them document it for me with pictures and everything like that. I spend five minutes, 10 minutes. They spend however many hours it takes, but it's a virtual assistant overseas, so it's a lot less of an expense. And I get what I want and in two ways, documentation and somebody actually able to do it because it's so detailed. Right. And, and they work while we're sleeping. Uh, we, we have uh, yep. two, two of our team members are uh, wonderful. They're actually we call them members of our family because all of our team is family and they're in the Philippines. Yep. Yep. So they're literally working while we're sleeping and it's awesome. We send them something and in the morning, a lot of times it's done. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, you you started a business by asking yourself or having the epiphany that I think is the greatest epiphany for all great businesses, which is there has to be a better way, right? Mm -hmm. And you're right. There does have to be a better way. You can hire consultants in financial services and they will come into your office and write systems for you. But, but Dean, they're unbelievably expensive. (laughs) And that's, that's actually one of the, that's how this sort of started. I was actually doing systems consulting and I, what I would do is I'd come in, I'd help people with their systems. They they pay me $15,000 a month yeah. for three, you know, and that's three to six months. And what happened was I would get, I would give them these VAs that would be able to do this. So, but eventually they, they were like, Hey, can you just give us the, the virtual assistance and, and let us, we can just do the videos and document. I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess that'd work. And it, and it transformed into this and it's just a much more, cause a lot of the times we know our processes, we just need somebody to help. We need a way to get them onto paper. And so rather than having a, having to pay a systems consultant to do that for you, cause you already know what you want done. You can just go and have someone communicate it to them and boom, you mm-hmm. have your documents and you have them, them able to do it if you wanted to. Well, let's rewind time here because there aren't a lot of people out there whose brain works in the way that yours does. How did you have this epiphany that that your brain worked in this way of creating systems and processes? <laughs> oh, that was a compliment, by the way. I just want to say you. that. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's a long story, but I'll make it as short as possible. So I actually thought, I used to think that there was something wrong with me, actually. I used to work for one of the largest aerospace companies for about 10 years. And they, I, I was a computer security specialist. And so I did. I, I had to do a lot of documentation, a lot of kind of project management type things. And I was just so lazy. I was, I, I've seen these people who would overcomplicate things and... I would, lack of a better word, I just find a better way of doing what they were doing to the point where I got so bored that in 2009, I started started my business because I got so bored. And I literally kept on thinking that there was something wrong with me, that if I could create these systems, if I can create documented systems, I can hand it off to people, I could do I could make things better, faster, cheaper, and easier, whether it's through automation or through some kind of process, then uh, then I would because I was too lazy not to. (laughs) And so so eventually I saw it in my business that I'm like, I'm I'm spending 60 hours a week doing stuff that I know other people can do. 
And so I started, like I said, typing out these processes and it was great. I was outsourcing a ton of stuff that I never thought I would be able to, but it just taking so long. And, uh, I, a, a mentor, a friend of mine, a guy by the name of Gonzalo Paternoster, he was doing something very similar to what I do now. And I was like, Oh my gosh, if I could just create a video, show them what to do, have them document it, it's game over. And so then it was, this became what I do now. Wow. Yeah, I'm you lazy. are weird. No, well, <laughs> but but you've you've taken you've taken you know a, a natural personality trait and and you know you just said it earlier you know it scratches your itch, dude. That that's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> there's a there's a in the eighty twenty principles book with uh, Richard Koch. He talks about he talks about the four types of people, and you have your people who are very intelligent, very hardworking. And he's like, yeah, they're great. But you have these other people, but the, 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 the most important person to have in your organization is the person who is intelligent, but lazy because they're going to constantly find a better way to do something because they don't want to do it. And it took a long time for me to actually accept that that was the way my brain worked. And because I kept on thinking it was, there was some kind of, there was something wrong with me. It, it's just not common in our culture to accept lazy people like that. And so it's just the way, the way it works. Once I accepted that, I'm like, I'm just going to go with it. And it's, it's, it's led to, I know companies that, that work with us where they've done an hour, maybe two hours worth of video showing processes and have quadrupled their business. Mm. Well, I'm going to get into a semantics argument with you because I personally don't think it's lazy. I think it's being wildly efficient. You know, finding inefficiencies is what uh, every business owner wants. I just was meeting with my team earlier today. You know, uh, Captain Marvel came out and she says, you know, uh, stronger, faster, smarter, better, <laughs> whatever it is. And, you know, I bring that up to my team. That's what we have to do on a regular basis. Now, Let's so we're going to switch gears here. So thank you for giving us a little bit of a history and a background of, of who you are and, and really how you came to be who you are. But this is a marketing and branding podcast. So let's talk about how you, through your processes, can help people in financial services, estate planning attorneys and CPAs make a better marketing plan, make more money and free up their time. How's that? Or or does do what you do help with any of that? Can you actually help with marketing? I'm asking you a lot of questions, so I'll stop. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, so the we firmly believe that 95% of what you're doing, whether it's marketing or anything else, can be done by somebody else, as long as you show them the process. And so... So when it comes to marketing, advertising, we have, there, for example, there, there are, there are clients who do just, they'll just do outbound emails. Uh, that's more, obviously it's more sales, more advertising, but they do customize outbound emails to people where they, where the VA goes, finds lead pools on LinkedIn, scrapes all their information gets their email address using things like hunter.io and any mail, uh, find any mail finder.com and then starts sending semi customized emails to these people and schedules meetings, gets, gets meetings booked and things like that. So that's all done because of the business owner knowing how they want their marketing and advertising done and showing exactly how they want it done with their own little twists, their own little ways of how they want to communicate. And the VA goes and does it because they have that step-by-step -step thing. And, and now, now they have a full, you know, outbound email marketing sales force going out. Uh, and it only took, you know, maybe 30 minutes worth of video. Mm-hmm. 
And you're also, I mean, you're also freeing up a lot of the advisor's time from being in the weeds, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now in our industry, there is a major, major personality flaw, but that personality flaw makes them great advisors, which is control. Help <laughs> me convince our audience that rescinding this control, giving up this control to somebody is, is really a good thing. Yeah, that's actually a great, that's a great question. So, so the cool thing is you actually get more control, which doesn't, it doesn't sound like you do, but one one of the things that, so for example, say you have that, uh, the, the kind of the, uh, the onboarding discovery call that you talked about, or that we talked about earlier, you can have your virtual assistant. So one, one, of, one of the financial advisors that I work with, what they do is they have some uh, somebody comes in through a questionnaire on on their website and they want to have several touches with that person to verify they don't want to get have a strategist go on the phone with somebody who really truly doesn't have what they say they have financially because they want to make sure the leads actually qualified so the virtual assistant the, the 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 owner of the business did a couple videos showing the virtual assistant how they wanted the first call to happen. They they used a, a soft phone that the virtual assistant could could use uh, uh, with their desktop to call uh, to call the person who brought in the uh, who came in as a lead. And through the video, said these are the questions that I want you to ask them. You don't have to sell them on anything, but this is how you ask them. And just went step by step through each of. The questions: What's your gross income? Uh, what do you have a business? Does the does the is it an S corp? Is it this? Is it that? Blah 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 blah. And the and the VA preframes them saying, "Hey, this is just a call to verify the information that you gave, and then we'll we'll set up a call with a strategist after." And what happens? The cool thing that happens is you actually have more control because you can have it to where there's quality control. So, for example, at the very end of the process in the video that you've done, you can say, after you're done with this, after you're done with this call, what I want you to do is I want you to send me the video of what you did, if you have them recorded, something like that, so for quality assurance so that I can see how you're doing things or send it to your supervisor. And you can actually have these quality control stuff so you know exactly what is going on. And how these calls are going and if they're successful and so on. So you actually can have way more control and you're not having to write out this whole quality control process. You're just saying, this is what I want you to do as a quality control check, if that makes sense. I mean, the applicability of this just seems so far and wide. It just, you know, we're 17, 18 minutes into the podcast and I've identified on a piece of paper like six things I think you could help me with. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, totally sweet. Well, you and I are talking after the podcast is done. So, so they do get, uh, they do feel like they have more control. Uh, and I love the fact that uh, there is the quality control component of it uh, because that's, that's super duper important. And uh, every advisor that we work with, um, really anybody who provides advice for a living that we work with wants things to be done their way. And by having somebody who's pliable enough and who's trained enough on, on being flexible to do something another person's way, how do you find those people? Yeah, that's a, that's a, another great question. The, so the way that we do it is we actually have a six tier hiring process. So we, it, the, <laughs> we're extremely picky extremely picky. I've been outsourcing since 2007, 2008. And because of that, I've seen every single possible thing, which I'm sure you've seen too, since you've, you've hired in the Philippines. And so what we do is right from the beginning, we, we have these, so in order for them to even start applying, they have to fill out this, what we call a landmine form. The very first tier has questions in there. It's a simple form. It looks innocuous. It has questions in there that if they answer in any way that is not, not what we want them to do. So for example, it might be something like, what's going to keep you from completing a project? And if they answer, oh, it's a, 
family or if it's you know, if there's an emergency or a natural disaster, then they're cut like immediately. And I, I even had my father-in-law balk at me because of how ruthless that is. And I said, if they don't answer that, nothing will stop them from completing a project. They're cut immediately. They, that's the only thing that they can answer is that they that nothing will keep them from stopping a pro, uh, project. And that usually cuts out about seventy five percent. And then during during the rest of the process, they're learning how to do systems how to do uh, systems documentation processes and things like that. If they mess up on one simple little thing, they get cut. So it's a huge process. And eventually they actually end up working specifically for my business for a little while, just so I can see actually how they work. My guys can see how they work. And then finally they're, I guess you would say certified to go and work with somebody who's one of our clients. Wow. Yeah, dude, I don't know any financial advisor who takes any of their team through that level of a rigorous uh, screening <laughs> process, right? I mean, what you just said, my mouth was just wide open there for a minute. I'm like, wow, that's, you're hardcore, dude. That's crazy cool. And the cool thing is that actually some of that came from my staff. So we had, it was about four steps prior to that. And I showed them exactly how I wanted it done created the process for it all documented. And when you create, when you, when you have a massive amount of processes and they, people feel comfortable in your business because they have that safety net, then they start seeing, Hey, we had an issue here. Let's, can, can we do this? Can we do that? And they start being creative. So two of the steps actually came from my staff who said, if we do if we have people who work for us for a few hours, for like you know twenty to forty hours a week, a week, just so we can see how they work, I will have a lot better quality person. And so my staff set that up, but that wouldn't have happened if there wasn't a process already there mm -hmm. where they could see the data, where they could see what's happening, where they felt comfortable even bringing it up. We, with, with this whole idea of, you know, there has to be a better way that that's really why we started uh, the top advisor marketing company in the way that we did. Uh, Kirk and I were so tired of telling everybody what to do. Uh, and they realized, we realized that uh, they actually want us to do it for them, which is the exact same sort of thing you're talking about here. Uh, we, we're just obviously taking those videos uh, that you have your advisors create or your clients create, and we just turn them into content. You know, obviously the content of the, the, uh, the videos would be a little bit different, but this is. This is remarkable. I, I, you know, it's so much fun having the networks that Kirk and I have. We get to meet really cool people like you. And, and I actually have a referral for you immediately of a financial services professional who happens to be a friend of mine who really needs this, right? He's having a really hard time hiring and retaining really good people. Part of it's because he's difficult to work with. But the other reason is, <laughs> is he doesn't have people who have that level of attention to detail, like, like uh, insurance advisors, right? Uh, they're, they're probably the best example here. If you get one little itty bitty nugget of paperwork wrong, oh my gosh, I mean, it, yeah. it can it mess up the whole deal, right? And so exactly. having somebody who's super, super organized and detailed and does what you do and what your team does is, is freaking awesome. Okay. If somebody wants to engage you, Dean, what is the best way for them to reach out? And do you have anything going on? Or do you have any, any any stuff on your website that you want our, 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 uh, our listeners to know about? Yeah. So, I mean, the best way to reach me is just through my, through my website, uh, prosulum.com. P R O S U L U M dot com. And the branding of that is not that great because I'm not a marketing and branding guy like you, but, but I am a systems guy. So if you go there, you get a free 30 minute consultation and it is a consult. So you'll end up getting, uh, leaving better than when you came. And so that's the best way to reach me. And I, 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 I I'm a systems guy. So so just expect that I'm going to ask a lot of questions about what you're currently doing. And it, don't feel bad if I if I make a lot of suggestions and uh, <laughs> <laughs> help out. <laughs> awesome. So, okay. Uh, so give, give us the, uh, the, the, the web address one more time. So prosulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com. Okay. We'll make sure that we have that in the show notes. But before I let you go... Where did that name come from? That's funny. So, <laughs> so back in two, 2009, 
I started my business and I, like I said, I'm not a marketing and branding at all expert, still not. And I've come to terms with that. Hence why we're going to be talking after this. The, so it was, I just thought Latin sounded cool. And I, I found, I was like, Hey, what are some cool Latin phrases? And this particular phrase means for everyone which is also a very bad marketing and sales thing. <laughs> you want to go for a niche. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And I just haven't had the, I, I just haven't changed it since. So it's just been pro Sulem. Oh. And it's, it's luckily, luckily the product and the service sells itself. Uh, Cause if it was for my branding, I wouldn't be making anything. So. <laughs> well, Dean, uh, thank you so much. One for doing what you do. Cause it's entirely necessary and hugely valuable. And number two, thanks for uh, dropping some wisdom on the podcast today. Oh, no problem. No problem. I, I, it's uh, it, it, the, the fact that if you can get your systems and your processes going, it's, it's a game changer. Even if you have to spend hours doing it, you just you, you you get so much value out of that time that you spent. Yeah, but screw having it be hours and hours. Just outsource <laughs> it to Dean and the ProSolum team uh, because you know what? Uh, time is money, everybody. You all know that. And if this is not where your brain is, if this is not your unique ability, your great talent in creating systems, give it to somebody who is. Just like Dean said, you know, marketing and branding aren't his his uh, his his bailiwick, so he's going to outsource that to somebody else. Uh, just like that, you need to do the same thing. So, Dean, man. I can't wait to, I wish we would record the after the show, but I think it might get a, might get a little, uh, a little bit crazy. So thanks for being on brother. <laughs> thanks so much, Matt. I appreciate it. All right. Dean Soto, president of ProSulu. Make sure that you check out prosulum.com. And if you have not subscribed to the podcast, click that subscribe now button below. Every time we come out with a new cover podcast, it'll show up directly on your listening device. And if you wouldn't mind, give us a quick rating on iTunes. That helps out everybody. And if you know anybody or would like to give feedback uh, on what we're doing on the podcast, all you have to do is reach out to me at Matt at top advisor M.com with your show suggestions and and or guest suggestions, or if you just want to tell us how much you love us, we'd love that too. So for Dean, this is Matt Halloran, and we'll see you on the other side of the mic very soon. Are you ready to change the way you communicate with your clients? Are you tired of being the best kept secret in your area? Learn how to become a prolific online influencer, attract more ideal clients, and grow your business. Contact us today and see what the power of podcasting can do for your business. Click on the Contact Us link on our website at topadvisormarketing.com and set up a call to learn more. Follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook for more updates and information. This was brought to you by iris.xyz, a platform helping financial professionals become better in business and life through new media and new voices. Visit them and learn more at iris.xyz.